Hey, it's Carl from Ram Tactical. I wanted to show everybody this new axe that I got. These these things are just fantastic. This one is literally like the cheapest axe they sell. This is $399 on their website. They don't have dealers. Uh, anybody can go on their website and buy this thing, send it to their FFL, and they'd have it in their hands. Um, I just wanted to go over a quick review with you guys about this thing. First of all, which is awesome, is you see the angle here on the bottom of the magazine, and then they have cutouts here. I mean, it's just a fantastic little design there. And just so that you can get an idea, here's, here's the stippling on the grip. Now, I thought on the picture that was going to be very aggressive. It turns out it's really not. It's a little more aggressive on the front strap, which is fine, and, and on the back strap. But on the sides, that's actually very nice. Um, they have a really nice serration stipple for where your thumb goes, and a very high beaver tail on this thing. So it's, it's very, super, very nice feel. You get your hand up high up on the grip so that you're closer to the center line of, of your barrel. That axis is it's important to get up there. They have a nice cutout here for your knuckle. And this is like a Gen 4 5 mag release button. Very nice. And you can see they have a stainless barrel. This is the cleaver, 9mm. And they have a very nice, it looks stainless. It's very hard, but that's a it's a very sharp um, extractor. And, and extractor rod stainless as well. So these little details they put on this. Stainless steel pins. All three pins are stainless steel. And they're dimpled. So um, they're very snug. Um, as we move forward here, they have a very nice shape on the trigger guard here. See that indentation there? I mean, some people may put their thumb in there. Like your thumb may go there, but they also have one up here for those traditional. There's your gas pedal. And you notice on the other side, my finger's right where that indentation is for the thumb. So, I mean, this is very, very thought out stuff. You have a an extended slide stop lever and the um, little serrations for your takedown. Those little serrations are, are larger than not extended but larger than on the clock so it's really easy to take it down look at this stippling for the foot pedal and then right in here where your thumb just rests in there naturally and then on this particular you have also the picatinny you know which is very nice look the serrations here i thought you know those look very aggressive well they are it's like the tread on a tire the same in the back but the thing is, your hands don't really rub on that stuff, so it's it's not too crazy, and it's it feels very easy whether you're, you know, from the back or from the front, you know. Uh, and this particular um, model here, I thought was going to be much less like they're just cheaper. You know, you look at the PSA and it sort of, you know, it's. It's okay, it's it's cheap, right? But when you're looking at this, every part of this thing is quality. Now, I did change the sights on it. They have metal white dot sights, and I chose to put this very visible Ameriglow, you know, with the U-shaped channel and serrations. That's just my preference. Uh, but they're Glocks uh, in the sense that you buy sights for Glocks, it fits right in there. They have the same... On the front, you know, it's that little screw that goes in there. It's the same. So, I mean, all in all, what else? Could, I mean, this is just a great guy. Look at the this little cutout that they do. Similar to, I think, Lone Wolf does that. A couple other. I mean, that's it's very nice. And, of course, I can't go on without talking about the trigger. I mean, their trigger from factory is about five pounds. Very crisp. It does have a hidden pre-travel screw and I don't know why it's hidden but you can't adjust it while it's on the gun but if you take the gun apart take the trigger out you see a pre-travel adjustment screw so you can adjust out some of that pre-travel take up although it isn't going to be like this this is one of my triggers um, 
it's still a very nice crisp trigger. It's five pounds, but it's a crisp five pounds. It's not spongy. It doesn't feel like a big roll. But this trigger is very nice on these guns. I mean, you got that much and you can hear that. Let me do that again. I won't talk so you can hear that reset. That's it. And then this thing's just got a little bit of take up and you're on the wall and boop. So I uh, just wanted to go over the cleaver with you guys because there's so much buzz about the hatchet and no doubt the hatchet's nice. It's, it's a little bit nicer crown. This is your standard um, flat crown with a chamfer and the hatchet has a concave crown that's like more of a match grade barrel. But all in all, uh, I would carry this any day, no problem. I mean, no problem at all. Uh, just like a Glock 19, but like so much better. Um, what else? I mean, there's so many things about this gun that's so nice. Um, the, the actual takedown lever, that's stainless. Um, inside, you can see they give you the safety plunger here. And in that safety plunger, I don't know if that's in focus, but... They really round that off. I mean, it's, I mean, they spent time, you know, doing that for you. So when you buy one of these guns, it's not absolutely necessary that you have to get a trigger. In fact, their trigger is very nice. But I mean, if your trigger can be like this, why not? Right? So anyway, I wanted to go over this because I did a presentation on the hatchet. And I thought, wow, you know, uh, the hatchet's pretty doggone nice. And I thought, you know, the axe is also very nice um, in the cleaver style, but it does not have the RMR. I would say the one thing about this is if it had an RMR cut out, then I would say, wow, man, I would certainly get the cleaver over the hatchet um, and save over $200. But still, if you're not an RMR guy, or if you know a guy that can cut that cutout for 100 bucks, then you're saving money there. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, I haven't shot this yet. My, my expectations are probably as good as a Glock for sure. I knew with the hatchet, that was, um, the hatchet was very nice. I mean, I, I shot as accurate as any of the Glocks or clones. Anyway, guys, that's the Axe Cleaver from Bull Armory. This is Carl from Ram Tactical signing out.